Hi and welcome back to our visualization video series. In today's part we will take a look at HTML5 objects in the CodeSys visualization. Here we are on the maintenance page of our demo project where we can see different HTML5 elements. We have a donut chart, a gauge control, a round slider and a HTML5 table. These are all included in the project archive which is free to download. Let's take a look at these elements live in the web visual. Here on the maintenance page, we see the donut chart on the top left, which gets its data from the variables of the ISC application. On the right side, we have the gauge control and round slider, where we can change the value and see how they get updated live in the other element. And on the bottom left, we have the HTML5 table, in which we can scroll and also edit the values of the different entries. As this video is supposed um, to gain a general overview of HTML5 controls, we will briefly take a look at the necessary tools. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, there is a page on Codesys Forge, which we can see here, with HTML5 API examples. Here we see different elements that can be integrated in the Codesys visualization and an explanation on how to do it. Of course, there's also an entry in the Codesys online help, to help you get started with HTML5 elements. Here we have a page that describes which methods the API provides and how to call them, for example. So, how do we set up um, HTML5 elements? With every installation of um, CodeSys comes our HTML5 control editor, in which you can open and edit controls, which you either downloaded from Forge, for example, or created yourself. Here we have the gauge control, which we already saw earlier in the demo project. And in the general tab, we can set information like name, version, a description, and which files are necessary. In the next tab, we can set up the control interface and which editor type we have. In this case, we need a variable. And we can also configure which method gets called by the API when the variable changes. And then we have another tab for the localization of the control in different languages. Another part that is very important for HTML5 controls is the element wrapper, which is the link between the CodeSys HTML5 control framework and the specific control you want to use. In this element wrapper file here, we see how the gauge control is generated, how settings get transferred, and how the control is added to the body. We also see the methods from earlier in the control editor, which allows us to set a value and forward it. But so much for the element wrapper. I don't want to go into detail here since we just want to give a quick overview over HTML5 controls and how they are realized in CodeSys. That's already it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon in the next part of this series. Bye.